Looking at North Korea, as seen from space at night, its widespread lack of electricity and modern fuels is plain to see. Unfortunately, the same is true for a large fraction of the world's population. As everyone realizes, if developing nations are to prosper, and developed nations are to sustain their standard of living, then the world must bring substantial new sustainable energy sources into operation before our affordable, yet non-sustainable fossil fuel resources are exhausted. The challenge is how to undertake this unavoidable transition in a way that provides sufficient and affordable energy supplies for everyone without an unacceptable impact on the environment. This spacefaring thinking video focuses on the important role of space solar power in successfully meeting this challenge and the economic opportunities this presents to America. The amount of energy that the world needs each year is simply the product of the size of the population and the energy used per person per year. An increasing population and or an increasing standard of living will increase the total amount of energy needed. When oil was first produced, wooden barrels of various sizes were used to ship the oil. Within a few years, a barrel containing 42 U.S. gallons became the standard for measuring oil production. On average, a 42-gallon barrel of oil contains about 5.8 million BTUs of thermal energy. This amount of thermal energy has also become a standard, referred to as a barrel of oil equivalent, or BOE. All forms of energy production or consumption can be expressed in terms of the BOE of energy produced or used. Today, the world produces about 88 billion BOE of thermal energy per year from all modern energy sources. About 77 billion BOE comes from the non-sustainable fossil fuels, while the remaining 11 billion BOE comes from nuclear and renewable energy sources. The average BOE of modern energy consumed per person per year provides a useful measure of economic prosperity and opportunity. On average, each person in the world today uses only about 13 BOE of modern energy per year, either directly or through the goods and services consumed. To put this into perspective, in 1900 in the U.S., when 60% of the population still lived on farms and cars and trucks were not yet in common use, the U.S. used about 22 BOE per person per year, about twice as much as the average person in the world now uses. Americans today consume about 54 BOE per person per year, while in other developed nations with greater population density, such as Japan and Germany, about 26 BOE per person per year is consumed. Developing nations, where most people live, obviously use much less per person. China, even after its recent rapid economic growth, still is using only about 13 BOE per person per year on average. As the size of the per person energy supply is directly tied to economic prosperity, it is reasonable to expect developing nations to want to achieve energy supplies per person in the range of that of industrialized nations such as Japan and Germany. Hence a goal of achieving 26 BOE per year per person of energy supply is reasonable for developing nations and for forecasting future world energy needs. In 2100, when the world's population will be about 9 billion and developing nations would have had sufficient time to achieve the goal of 26 BOE per person per year of energy supply, 
the world's energy needs would total about 234 billion BOE per year. This is almost three times what is now being produced. The obvious question is how will this amount of energy be supplied? The only reasonable answer lies with civilizing our energy sources by making them reliable and completely sustainable. Reliability and sustainability constitute the foundation of civilization. Over the last 10,000 years, our civilization has made our primary sources of food and water and our infrastructure of housing, transportation, manufacturing, and information distribution reliable and sustainable through innovation and technological advancement. Yet this has not happened for most of our energy sources. Today, about 11 billion BOE from sustainable energy sources is being supplied worldwide. To achieve a 234 billion BOE per year supply of sustainable energy in 2100, the world's entire nuclear and renewable energy production capacity today must be expanded by a factor of nearly 20. Let's look at a hypothetical model of an entirely nuclear energy infrastructure to gain a perspective on what level of effort is needed to meet the world's 2100 energy needs with only sustainable energy. Presently, there are about 380 gigawatts of nuclear electricity generation capacity in the world. To meet today's energy consumption of 88 billion BOE using only nuclear energy, the world would need about 18,500 1 gigawatt nuclear power plants to provide dispatchable electricity and hydrogen fuel. Scaling this up for 2100, the world will need about 49,000 nuclear power plants. Every year through 2100, the world would need to bring about 550 nuclear power plants into operation at an annual cost of about six trillion dollars. While well, obviously today's version of nuclear energy is not the long-term answer, this example highlights the magnitude of the challenge and the immense business opportunity of civilizing our world's energy supplies by making them reliable and sustainable. Presently, most of the focus on renewable energy expansion is on wind and ground solar energy. While these are useful in some parts of the world, during the early period of transition to sustainable energy. These first-generation renewable energy sources require large tracts of land, about 250 square miles of wind farms, or about 85 square miles of future ground solar arrays, are needed to provide the dispatchable electricity or hydrogen fuel equal to that produced by a 1 gigawatt nuclear power plant. Thus, the world would need on the order of 12 million square miles of wind farms or 4 million square miles of advanced solar arrays with 100% land use to meet its 2100 energy needs. For perspective, the land area of the continental United States is about 3 million square miles. Recognizing that solutions better than wind and ground solar energy are needed, we must now turn our focus to second and third generation sustainable energy sources. The three likely candidates are algae biofuel, space solar power, and advanced nuclear energy. Eventually the world and our expanding spacefaring civilization will be powered by an advanced form of nuclear energy, probably some form of fusion energy. Until then, space solar power and algae biofuel may become the primary sustainable energy sources to meet the world's growing need for sustainable energy. Space solar power places the solar rays in space, probably in geostationary orbit, where sunlight is available almost the entire year. This enables space solar power platforms 
to transmit energy to receiving sites on the Earth's surface, where it becomes baseload electricity comparable to what is now provided by nuclear and fossil fuel power plants. A combination of algae biofuel and space solar power could meet a large percentage of the world's 2100 energy needs, while minimizing the land area that must be dedicated to energy production when compared with wind and ground solar energy. Commercializing space solar power will require a fundamental transformation of America's space enterprise. From its current primary emphasis on government space exploration and science, to commercial human space operations throughout the Earth-Moon system. However, before American aerospace and energy companies can effectively begin the engineering development and production of space solar power platforms, America must first build a new spacefaring logistics infrastructure. This infrastructure is needed to routinely transport people and cargo to low Earth orbit and throughout the Earth-Moon system, and to logistically support commercial space operations, such as space solar power platform production and operation. The key to successfully building this infrastructure is to use aircraft-style systems engineering principles and practices well proven in the U.S. for producing fully reusable, safe and operable manned military and commercial aircraft. Much as the Transcontinental Railroad opened the American West, this new American spacefaring logistics infrastructure will transform America into a true spacefaring nation enabling American businesses to take the lead in bringing this vital new sustainable energy source of space solar power to an increasingly energy-hungry world. <laughs>